Globally, the agricultural sector produces huge amounts of wastewater, containing organic biomass material which naturally produces vast amounts of methane as it breaks down and pollutes local watercourses. Methane gas, a highly potent greenhouse gas, is typically 21 times more damaging than CO2 and represents about 18% of the world's man-made greenhouse gas emissions. The production of ethanol and starch from cassava creates large amounts of this wastewater, rich in organic material, which can be a source of renewable energy, as well as produce other useful byproducts. And treatment of this wastewater is now economically viable, given increasing regulatory restrictions and incentives to create renewable energy and carbon credits. Kirk Evans is CEO of SCC's Southeast Asia operations. Ya, saya kira kalau biasanya sama ibu Yuni ada dua hari ya baru kita transfer. He has extensive knowledge of the sector and local culture, and has built a dynamic, experienced team to develop biogas projects in the region. We see tremendous opportunities in the starch and ethanol industry in Indonesia, especially in the province of Lampung in South Sumatra. Since 2005, we've set up a very strong agricultural solutions department that is looking at all these opportunities to create environmental credits and be able to utilize the wastewater and turn it into electricity. The process of treating this wastewater from ethanol factories is basically a means of containing the biological process that would happen anyway. Put simply, what we did is we contained the wastewater and provide an optimum working condition for the bacteria to perform its functions. It, you know, on the surface, this might sound simple, but it takes years of trial and error to develop an economically and technically viable system. SCC is developing its pilot biogas to energy project in the Lampung province of Sumatra, Indonesia. Di project ini adalah project biogas uh, yang mengolah air limbah dari pabrik etanol tersebut menuju ke pengolahan tersebut. Air limbah itu akan dikirim ke mix tank dan selanjutnya akan diolah ke biodigester. Dari biodigester akan dikirim lagi ke mix settling pond dan selanjutnya di settling kembali lagi ke mixing tank. Uh, untuk pekerjaan sipil saat ini 90% progresnya dan selanjutnya akan di lining dan di cover. Project ini menghasilkan biogas dan membutuhkan waktu kurang lebih sekitar 30 hari untuk menghasilkan biogas dan biogas tersebut akan dipakai ke endoetanol untuk menggerakkan boiler dan boiler tersebut akan menghasilkan sekitar 3 megawatt listrik yang akan dipakai untuk pengoperasian pabrik etanol tersebut. Asia produces 77 million tons of cassava and Indonesia produces 26% of this, making it the second largest producer of cassava in Asia next to Thailand. The value of PT biogas stretches well beyond the strong economics of the projects. Increased use of biogas will reduce reliance on fossil fuels, a very important goal for the government of Indonesia, who are looking to install 6.7 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity in the next 15 years. There are currently more than 70 ethanol and starch plants with large enough capacity to benefit from a partnership with SCC. Clean energy is a very important sector for the government of Indonesia. We've had a lot of interest. We've got seven projects in the pipeline. And this still only represents about 10% of the potential in the Lampung area. What we've done is assembled the best professionals drawn from waste and power generation and together they will position PT Biogas as a leader in this sector in Indonesia.